November of last year in 2010, uh, a group of friends and I came up with the idea of actually going to Tanzania and climbing Mount Kilimanjaro. Of course, uh, I immediately had to start thinking about what equipment, what cameras I was going to be bringing. Um, but the other thing I impulsively did was to look into the uh, environmental issues in the region. Uh, and what I found, well, it's just no nothing that I had expected. I got into contact with a man named Sebastian Chua, a botanist in the region who's really working against the environmental issues. And he actually helped explain to me that what's happening is the glacier is disappearing day by day, more and more, and it's actually only a sixth of what it used to be uh, only 50 years ago. Uh, what's happening is normally, um, because winds work on a pressure gradient, the winds normally flow from the bottom of the mountain up to the top, and on the way they collect a, a ton of moisture from the trees. And once they get to the top, since it's a high altitude and it's actually always below freezing, all of the moisture in the air is converted into snow and adds to the glacier. And then the glacier shifts down at the bottom of the glacier to a low enough altitude, and it's a high enough of a temperature that the um, snow is converted back into water and goes back into the trees. And it continues on the cycle where it goes into the trees and comes back up and it's carried by the winds or by evaporation, by the rain, and it goes back to the top. But now there's too much tree poaching and there, there aren't the trees anymore to deliver the water to the air. So the winds that come to the top are drier and drier and the glacier isn't added to anymore and now there's no snow at the top. I sat down with uh, farmers in the region who depend immensely on water from Kilimanjaro and uh, well, their difficulties and their pain, is, it speaks for itself. My name is John Sebastian Minde. And what do you do? Mimi ni mkulima kwa shamba. Mabadiliko ni kwamba kipindi kilicho pita kulikuwa na mvua nyingi sana. Mvua likuwa na nyesha sana. Lakini sasa hivi kipindi hiki ni kwamba mvua mepungua sana. Ndiyo mabadiliko hayo ya liopo. Ni kutokana na mazingira ukataji wa miti. Hasa watala mwana tueleza hivu. Na sisi tunafikiri ni hivu. Kwa sababu kipindi cha nyuma, miti likuwepo mingi sana. Na tumeikata, imekatwa. Kwa hiyo, kuna kuwa na ile hali ambayo na sisi tunamini ndiyo sababu mwja hapa. Maji tunategemea kutoka mlimani, mlima Kilimanjaro. Ndiyo tunategemea sana. Ndiyo manake tunasingatia sana kuhifadhi msitu. Na maji mengine huwa tunapata maji ya chemchemu. Maji ya chemchemu ambaye vile vile chanzo chake ni mlima Kilimanjaro. They, they get to raise water some some rivers they don't have water at all. And you can see the water flowing there. That means it is melting very very fast. Ofu kuna ofu kubwa sana. Na ufukubwa sio kwamba ni mipeke yangu tu hapana ni kwamba jamii nzima kwa sababu endapo kama hatutakuwa macho kulinda huu mlima Kilimanjaro kwa kuotesha miti barafu itakapopungua sana tukose maji basi hapo ndio mwisho wetu ndio kitu kinachotupa wasiwasi kwamba tusipo jitahidi kulinda huu mlima kwa kuotesha miti kwa wingi na ku Hawa na waribaribu misitu kwa thibiti kabisa wasiaribu misitu ni kwamba itakuwa ni atari kubwa sana sisi. Tosakosa maji na ndiyo uhai wetu. Maji ndiyo uhai. Global warming they have been killing us. Because uh, now we have disease which we didn't have before. For example up here in the mountain we didn't have mosquitoes. And because of that it means that disease which we didn't have it is now making death for people. If the mountain disappeared, it means that even the people and the, all the living things around the mountain do to be disappear too. It's going to be the end of us because we don't have any other source of getting, for example, water, of getting rains. That if the mountain disappear, this ice cap disappear, what are we going to do?